I'm resting the vortex on a bunch of items because that's what DIY people do. Anybody in the vortex that gives a fuck about the right stuff. I want you to give yourselves a pat on the back. And I know that this piano playing is inconsistent and it's annoying me. Is it annoying you in the vortex? <laughs> Eventually I'll pick something that works, but right now it's just so annoying because like, like I've said before, once I turn the camera off, whatever I do will be, will be comedy gold. But right now, it's, it's comedy bronze. And I write songs that I don't perform. Yeah, I write songs. That I sing along to in my room, all gloom and doom. But I know they're good, I know they're good. But I know that very few will be able to, uh, what did you say, Mr. Thera? Overstood? <laughs> be overstood. <laughs> okay. I do think that we need to change the language. Since they're changing the language anyway, you know, you might as well do your own thing. You know, and say fuck their thing. Because they keep changing the thing. To be confusing, you know, that that's a that's a brainwashing tactic by the way. Communism. You don't have to understand it. I understand it. It's nobody else's responsibility to understand what's going on inside of me. It's not a doctor. It's not a therapist or analyst, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's my job to analyze me, research me, ask me questions, ask God questions, and be patient, wait for the answer. But patience is hard to come by, come by. And a lot of times he doesn't answer the way that I'd like. But I know that there must be a reason why I wasn't drunk and I was a thief. There must be a reason why I did stuff that was beneath me. Cause I've been a bad person. I've been a despicable, worthless sack of shit. I've been a bad person. And I would say a lot of things that weren't very nice. But I do a lot more things that were way less nice. <laughs> but it seems like people don't care if you lie or you steal. And they don't care if you do really despicable things to somebody that was your former friend. They don't care if you do despicable things to your own parents. They don't care, but a God forbid, use the wrong word in a comedy bit. Or maybe you accidentally make somebody feel like shit. Sorry. Couldn't help it. It's just myself. You can't handle it. Somebody being themselves, but well, they don't have selves to be, you know what I mean? I like that.
synthesizer. Oh, that's good too. I like that. I like that little change there. That was fun. Anyway, I said I was going to get the mail. That was like six minutes ago. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to do a little ditty there before I hopefully get my PayPal card. Oh yeah, so I joined Patreon, even though I kind of sort of hate it. Like I said, I really hate social media. I hate it so much. I hate the internet with a passion because I just think it was designed to like just control people and basically exacerbate our human nature. Um, I was thinking about the president and how he's basically, he's been put in this position to, like, if, if you think about America, like it's a tea kettle, okay? Donald Trump is going to make that motherfucker explode. That, that is why he's in there. Because we were already at the tipping point. We were already on the edge. And he just, you know, you know, just, just keeps pushing it. But, I mean, it's not his fault that that's happening because the culture was already there. So, it's like, it, it really makes so much sense if you look at it from, like, the bigger picture. You know, I feel like I'm sitting on top of a billboard watching the world burn. You know, that's how, that's how I feel. And sometimes it's hilarious and other times it's absolutely horrifying and I can't stop crying and I feel sorry for people and then I get really self-righteous and I'm like, well, fuck them. They don't read labels, you know. <laughs> but but then I'm like, well, you know, you're a piece of shit. You know, you've done all these horrible things. So so who the hell are you to judge all these people, you know? And, and that's why, that's why uh, Jesus told us not to judge others lest we be judged, you know? Because when you judge others, like... You really should be judging yourself just as much. Um, but it's easier to judge other people than it is to judge you. And I was just thinking about all the just reprehensible things that I've done. And, like, it just made me so upset. And I was like, how can you judge a woman for having an abortion, you know? Like, I mean, I, I judge the act, but it's like, you don't know what she was going through and especially you know after she has that abortion you know she's gonna have to live with that for the rest of her life you know her baby won't you know for obvious reasons but um <laughs> sorry I had to make that joke you know you gotta make whatever joke you can possibly make whenever you can make it uh, but uh I do have empathy though for for people that you know they make bad decisions and you know you gotta live with that shit like, I have to live with the fact that I used to steal from my, my family and my friends and um, people that I worked for, you know? Like, I have to live with that. And even if it seemed like it was justified or even if I could, you know, make the excuse that, oh, well, the, these people do the same thing, it's like, well, this still doesn't make what I did the appropriate line of action and... I, I still feel like shit about it because I have to think about that, you know, like that's what they don't tell you about sin is like it stays with you and then you have to hold on to that guilt and that's how the devil gets you and they don't get that shit. I wish that my current self could talk to my former self and smack the shit out of her but at the same time you know she wouldn't have listened to me anyway and I wouldn't be the person I am today if I like I said if I hadn't been a shithead beforehand so you know I feel like God is pretty amazing in that way that he can turn sin into this amazing story you know that inspires other people that have lived that that sort of life or a life that they they're ashamed of you know and, and you know if I can say look Jesus has, like, washed me clean of all that. I'm still from time to time going to think about it and feel really bad because, you know, I, it, it does. It brings me shame. And it should always bring me shame. And it's that shame that makes me, you know, never want to go back there. But that doesn't mean that I still couldn't. I mean, I thought that when I quit drinking before and, and I ended up 
going back to it after after i had experienced the entire week of alcohol withdrawals and couldn't stop shaking couldn't sleep couldn't eat was bloody miserable after about four months of sobriety i went back out and lost the job that i had gotten i was so proud of i was about to be promoted and everything and then i just said fuck that and sabotage the fuck out of myself but that needed to happen too in order for me to learn and I've been sober thank God for like nine and a half years now so you know it's like it takes what it takes I guess but anyway thievery is something else thievery that's some borderline personality shit I'll tell you because if you're stealing shit I mean, well that's just some cluster B shit yeah that is some cluster B shit for sure. Sociopathic, very much so. But anyway, yeah, I gotta go get my mouth. Goodbye.